Greetings, human creatures. Yes, welcome back to another video with just my hands. Oh, it's like when I very first started. Don't go back and watch those videos because they are awful. Anyway, today we are doing an unboxing and a slightly different one at that. Today we are unboxing one of these. These are a bunch of boxes I found from a company called Dr. Collector. And they are basically trinkets and little bits and bobs from iconic film franchises. You've got the Karate Kid, you've got Ghostbusters, you've got Jurassic Park, you've got Jaws. Today, we're doing Ghostbusters, because Ghostbusters was my childhood, and it's awesome. What this is essentially is Ghostbusters employee welcome kit. It's as if you've joined the Ghostbusters and they've given you an employee kit. That's basically what this box is, as it says on the back. Uh, 984, Peter Venkman, Egon Spengler, Raymond Stance. The Ghostbusters. If you don't know the Ghostbusters, where have you been? Yeah, 1984? What more to say? It's a bunch of people hunting ghosts. Well, it's Peter Vakeman, it's Ray Stance, it's Egon Spengler, and Winston Zedmore are the main four Ghostbusters. Then there was a the sequel, then there was the weird one in 2014, or 2016, whatever it was, the old female one, which was... It was a nice bit of fan fiction, I guess. And then there's one called Ghostbusters Afterlife coming out next year with Paul Rudd and Finn Wolfhard because he's in, he's in everything. I don't know why, but he is. Apparently, greatest actor on earth or something. He's in every single film. Anyway, the Ghostbusters. Let's, yeah, get this open. <gasps> Ooh, certificate of anti-paranormal proficiency. Uh, first things first. This is like a nice bit of card. This is the weirdest thing I can say. It's a really nice bit of card. It's like that weird eggshell card thing? Have you seen American Psycho? Think of when they're doing the card scene. It's like that. Certificate of anti paranormal proficiency awarded to, insert your name, the above person is hereby duly authorised and empowered to perform the functions of Ghostbuster on behalf of Ghostbusters Incorporated as fully member and for long as he remains a member of the company. Ghostbusters Training Academy. And then they ruin it by putting Ghostbusters 2019 Columbia pictures. Really? Well, still. That's quite nice. If you know somebody who likes Ghostbusters, give them that. <gasps> spoilers! We don't need the spoilers. Ooh, lots of fancy things. I didn't actually check what was in this box beforehand. I just saw it's a Ghostbusters welcome kit and I was like, give me now, give me, give me it now. So we have an equipment manual and protocols. <gasps> Ooh, let's have a ganders at that. Like, I absolutely adored Ghostbusters as a kid. I had the toys. There was toys, comics, books, clothes, there was food, there was... Everything you can possibly imagine had Ghostbusters on it. Multi-billion dollar franchise, it's insane. Written by Dan Aykroyd, who played Raid Stance, and Harold Ramas, who sadly passed away the other year, who played Egon Spengler. And the original script was bonkers. And it's supposed to have James Belushi. John Belushi, not James Belushi. John Belushi, but he died. So they got Bill Murray. That's the one. Anyway, yes, onwards. Equipment, manual, and protocols. I don't know if this is just a notebook. <gasps> Ooh, it's not. It's actually a proper book. Ooh, Ray's Occult Books. Uh, Ray Stance had an occult bookshop. The reason for this and this entire franchise is because Dan Aykroyd's dad wrote books on the occult and the afterlife, and he was pretty much obsessed with it. His whole family was. That's where the idea came from. So this is general procedures. Oh, uh, Janine. And the ghost, which I don't know the name of. But yeah, so there's Ecto-1. It's basically an entire procedure book showing you the outfits, <laughs> protocols, call received, emergency, yes, code three, and so on. I read that backwards, but you get the idea. There's a lot of little stuff in here. Collecting samples? <laughs> what? I actually really want to read this. Ah, uh, yes. Communication with the Beyond procedure. Using a Ouija board. And a guidebook for it, because the Ghostbusters dealing with Ouija boards and the toaster. What on earth is that about? Oh, uh, Ghostbusters 2. He puts slime in a toaster thing and he talks to it and gets really aggressive and shouts things about its mother and it gets very angry, understandably. Yep, there's all kinds of stuff. Equipment instructions. This is actually really nice. <gasps> PKE meter. This was the thing they held and they went and it had little things on the side. Does it show you it? It does. They went up when a ghost was detected. PKE, psychic, psycho? I can't remember. Kinetic, energy, Detector? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, God, I love the Ghostbusters. It was so good. And then, of course, the 
bits about the oh ecto goggles sorry distracted but yeah you can make some notes as well <laughs> this is brilliant i had all this kind of stuff as a kid i absolutely adored the ghostbusters transformers turtles ghostbusters they were my thing and brave star brave star doesn't get enough love anyway this is how to put your ecto pack on <laughs> with some sort of weird burt reynolds porn stash bloke in the corner don't know what that's about but yeah there's loads the containment unit which was awesome i still have the containment unit and the original fire station which is in my attic i think maybe and i've forgotten what it's called hook and ladder company 8 in manhattan is the original firehouse it's still there you can still go and see it it's a very nice looking place uh this is one of the films the second film at least that made me want to go to new york and now i've been many many times and it's still amazing as always that is lovely i love that that is a very simple thing ruined again by the 2019 bit on the back but i like that that's oh i like this box already oh what else we got employee welcome kit it's a little metal i think it's metal let's have a how do we get this out it looks like a little metal badge and who doesn't want a little metal badge that they can stick to themselves and say i'm a ghostbuster oh it is metal oh that's good oh no cheap tacky stuff in here and Ghostbusters employee kit. Uh, unfortunately, it does then say manufactured by Dr. Collector and all kinds of garbage down here and copyright stuff. Why? Just put put that on the back. I don't need to see it on the front. Ooh. Question, who's your favorite Ghostbuster and why was it Peter Venkman? Let me know in the comments down below. We have a pen that simply says Ghostbusters. Clicky, clicky, click, 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 click. It's a Ghostbusters pen. Not much more you can say, is it? It's a Ghostbusters pen. Sadly, it doesn't spray slime out of it when you click it. <gasps> Do you remember the toys with the slime? Because I used to have them. And if you had them, you will know when you had Ghostbusters toys, the noise you would hear most was, No, don't get it on the carpet! Which is the noise your mother would make when you got slime on the carpet and couldn't get it out. Ah, they were the days. Next thing is, ooh, rookie. Ah, it's a rookie patch. So you can sew that onto your Ghostbusters outfit. That's pretty decent, actually. All the others obviously had Ray and Steadmore or... Oh, wait, did they have the first names or the second names on there? <gasps> I can't remember. What was... Ooh. <gasps> I'm disappointed in myself. I don't remember. Let me know in the comments. God, call yourself a fan. Next, we have the iconic Ghostbusters symbol, which I think is probably the only thing that remained, or the most basic thing that remained from the original script, because the original script was bonkers, and there was all kinds of like intergalactic travel in one of the scripts and they were going through vortexes into other worlds all kinds of craziness but hey that's what you expect i like that that's a nice little thing and again it's a nice little patch ghostbusters ecto-1 roots and accessibility hello service map new york city we operate 24 hours a day <gasps> what is this oh after responding to a code always leave the equipment ready for a new emergency i like the details like well, there's a little tip box for all the devices check the ecto systems work correctly engine oil brick i like this this little attention to detail these kind of things this is what makes a box and who you're gonna call oh that was so i need to watch the ghostbusters again i absolutely love them and you know what i'll even watch the 2016 one because there are good bits in it like holtzman it's just they didn't flesh out the characters and they seem to forget that the original ghostbusters actually existed I say the original, I mean this Ghostbusters. The original Ghostbusters was a weird thing with a monkey and other stuff. It's very strange. But yes, here we go. So this is a map of the city and it's got all the different places. And then it tells you a little detail. And these are basically all the different places the Ghostbusters went, I think, in most of the films. They raise occult books, a New York Public Library, which is one of the first bits you see with the ghosts. Uh, the New York Public Library at the intersection of 5th Avenue and 42nd Street is a place where there have been reports of paranormal activity practically since its dedication in 1911. Ooh. Ah, oh, then it tells you, yeah, Dr. Stans and Spengler and Venkman had the first paranormal encounter in 1984 in that very place. This is cool. It's a very simple map. Threat level low, moderate, high, max. Where's the... Oh, the colours! Oh, I see. So that's moderate. That's high. These are max. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is really nice. You know what? I really like that. And then you've got the route that the Ecto-1 takes, which, if you've been to New York, is basically not a route because you're just stationary and beeping your horn at everyone. It's fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. Ghostbusters, professional paranormal investigations and eliminations. We're ready to believe you. And you've got your own little Ghostbusters card. 
Uh, weirdly, not as good quality as the other card that was in the box that said Welcome Rookie. That's a bit strange. This feels a bit flimsy. That's, um, oh, that's a bit of a shame. But still, it's a nice little touch. Property protected by Ghostbusters. So you guys have a Ghostbusters sticker. Then the Ghostbusters. Ah, this is the image you would see on the advert in the original 1984 film. By the way, the cartoon was amazing in its own right. If you ever watch the uh, Ghostbusters cartoon, brilliant. And its sequel, which was the Extreme Ghostbusters, and was brilliant as well. Be ready to believe you. 555-2368. Yes, 555. That standard number used in Hollywood. Ah, oh, these are li ni just nice little touches. I quite like this box. Dr. Collector, fair play. Ooh, what is this? Paranormal Investigations and Elimination. Oh, it's the bill. You know what? I've never seen this. Is it? Oh, it is. It, it rubs through. <gasps> I kind of wish there was more of these, but that's a nice little touch. Date, bill to company, street address, service description. Subtitles, tax rate, that's... There's a lot of attention to detail for all the little things you'd see in the film and probably never thought about. Aw, that's kind of cool. And I think we're coming to the last bit, which is the Ghostbusters ectoplasm container. When they scoop it up, as it said in your handbook, and you put it in the little jar. Oh, and it's got little markings. Green, pink, purple, blue, other. <laughs> if exposed, wash hands effectively with soap and water. That's kind of cool. And of course, you can buy little tubs of slime to put in there. Ah, uh, you know what? These are quite nice. I like this and I'm quite looking forward to seeing some of the others. There's a lot of little stuff in there. I realise a lot of it is paper, but the whole purpose of this is that it's like little nostalgic items and I quite like it. That is the best thing in here. I really like that. Uh, as I said, these are from Dr. Collector. I'll leave links down below. You can get them in all different places. Very, very cool. I, I just, I'm happy. Happy days. This is stuff I like. And I can use it as background for my videos. Oh, I really like that. I'm quite looking forward to the Jaws one. The Jurassic, there was also Jurassic World, not just Jurassic Park. There is a Fallout one. And, oh, I think they're really seeing like a really special Back to the Future one, which covers all three films. But that's not bad, something entirely different. Thank you for watching, no magical transitions. Just a simple thing. So like, subscribe, support on Patreon. Anything I don't keep is in the shop, jarwallock.shop, simple as that. But as always, be happy, be free, uh, keep it awesome, and it's really hard to do that when you're uh, just looking down. But yes, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Yeah, nailed it.